Well, Jim, not the start you wanted for the beginning of your uh, First Division campaign. No, I mean, it was always going to be a very difficult fixture coming to a United first game of the season. Um, they, were a, they were strong and, um, you know, they were a really positive side today. They, I thought they played some good football at times. And we were second best, uh, in particular in the first half. I thought the start of the second half would probably improved marginally and made it more of an even contest without really controlling the game. But in the balance of play over the 90 minutes, the United deserve to win. I'm not arguing about that. You're talking about that period of time in the second half. It did look like you were taking a bit of control, mm -hmm. and then came the sending off. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what was your view in the sending off? Yeah, I mean, I think as I said, he's, dive, he's diving in to win the ball, but I think he, he rolled the ball really. And if you roll the ball, you go over the top of it. And if you go over the top of it, it's a dangerous, reckless challenge. It's a red card, so I've got no argument with that. It's, it's you know, as I said, you can call it impetuous naivety. You can call it what you like. But the bottom line is, I think the referee in the modern game has got no option to but to issue a red card. Mm -hmm. You aren't too happy with their performance today, though. No. You think you've got a lot more to come from this team? Yeah, we've played a lot better in pre-season games and uh, even the cup games without being brilliant. We've, we've certainly um, denied the opposition space. But I felt today um, we, we allowed uh, United to get a foothold in the game from quite early on. And as I said, we always seem to be a yard off the pace and that's something we're going to have to discuss and think about and see if we can rectify because, you know, you give any any team um, that extra yard or two, then they're going to exploit it and that's exactly what United done today on several occasions. I mean, the goal typified it, ball goes back to the full-back, he's got no real pressure on him, he sets it up, delivers a, a nice ball in the middle of the box and the boy's standing between two defenders and I think that typified the, the game today. It was just too comfortable for United at times for, for my He made a lot of chances though, especially we make at the a few. end there. Yeah, at we the end there you could have uh, at one point equalised with the last couple of minutes and again you had an opportunity uh, just in the last minute again, it was, so two, two in two minutes. Yeah, there. no, we had a few. I mean, in the first half with the best chance when we could be getting behind and pulled it back to, to Declan and he didn't quite connect and scrambled clear. And then, um, you know, Joe McKee had a good free kick, we could save with David Hutton. Uh, and then Tom Aware went on, just went on and didn't connect right again, he's only four or five yards out. And then David McNeil and Lee Day towards the end of the game, and then Declan went through and tried to chip the goalie. So, you know, over, over the game, we created a number of chances, but in general play, th these, were, these were more like counter-attack chances. We didn't really control the game for any concerted period of time. And if you do that, I think you're always likely um, to, to lose one. And, I said, we've been quite resilient defensively, but it was a poor goal for us to lose. I mean, again, good play from Ryan Donnelly. Take nothing away from strikers when they score goals. It's the hardest, hardest job in the game, and everybody knows that. Um, but from my point of view, it was, a, it was a quite, a, quite a comfortable goal for him. So where do you go next week? What do you do with this? Well, you just you know, you know have to think about it. You know, you don't go overboard. I mean, you can't go overboard. You know, we're, we're not Manchester City. You can't you know throw a whole new team at it and hope, hope that changes round. You know, you... You're a, you're a team who are developing, who are learning, and if they learn and, and realise that you know we have to be a lot, a lot better, and a lot sharper, and you know a lot slicker in everything we do, then we can go on and, 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 and you know put us to bed and move on. But you know, as I said, it's easy to say, it's not easy to do. So, like any football club, hard work on the training pitch. We'll be back to work on Monday and, and, and see if we can improve for next week. Well, you, as you can see, you're quite a happy man today after that result. Very much so. Yeah, I thought over the course of the 90 minutes we definitely deserved to win. I uh, thought the performance for, for back right through to round on up front was, was excellent. And I couldn't have asked for any more. And obviously the, the sending off makes us that you get so much of the ball and you've got to be patient and going past the ball quick. And I thought we'd done that. I thought we'd done that. I thought it was a matter of time before we did get the goal. But you're always nervous at the end because it's only one. But the same guys held out for the ball. Excellent goal, uh, JP put the ball right across, lovely cross in by Mikey Donald and uh, the attacking of the ball by Donald at the back, it's a joy to watch, can't wait to see it in the video. It's such a hard header because it's actually, it's the, the pace on it is unbelievable but Ryan's great, he just, he just directs it, you, you see there what he is, he's an actual finisher and his two goals last week are, are completely different for his goal of the day and it just shows you when he's in the box he will score goals for us and I'm so happy for him because I, I just feel so he he needs that wee bit of relief in him, somebody to hold that in. Certainly, the way he played the day, his hold up play was excellent as well. And he's playing that kind of lone striker as well, even though we've got two white players up, up beside him, but he played great for him. Looking forward to next week then? Of course, I. But again, it'll be really difficult. We are a decent side with him being watched. It's not going to be easy games in this league. And that, you just, if we apply ourselves the way we did and pass the ball and be patient and 
not that, as I say, belief. It's all about belief. If you can compete and have that belief, we've got good players on our teams and the guys, the guys in the middle of the park can pass the ball. We try to can cut the defence out and get Peter Murphy at the back. It's the time they're looking down. It's easy for him. I've got to be honest. Uh, he's, he's fantastic. He'll make a, make a real difference to us. But for me, Alan Forrest is miles, miles in front of any other any player I've seen. And that, that is 17 year old. He's a different class. Probably for the first one. He's, there was one person there to win the winning team with him.